Welcome. Today, we are going to monetize this website with advertisements using Hooligan Media. Let's get started. First, we will create an account with Hooligan Media. To create an account, you will need to provide your email and the domain that you want to place advertisements on. After completing the forum, select the register button and agree to the terms and conditions. Select the download button to download the ads.txt file. Log into your web server, then locate and open the root folder, generally titled htdocs or public HTML, and upload the ads.txt file there. Make sure that the file is uploaded in the correct location before moving on. After uploading, select the verify button and wait for Hooligan Media to verify that you uploaded the file correctly. After passing verification, registration is complete. You will now need to wait for Hooligan Media to check your site before you can show ads. Make sure you don't delete the ads.txt file. After receiving an email saying that your account is ready, it's time to place advertisements on your website. Log into your Hooligan Media dashboard and select the verification script option from the sidebar. You will need to copy and paste this script inside the HTML head tag on every page that you wish to show advertisements on. Although it is only required that this tag is placed within the HTML head, we recommend you place it directly before the closing head tag, as shown. Remember that you have to add this tag on every page, not just your homepage. If you are using a CMS like WordPress, search the plugin store for a plugin that allows you to modify the HTML head tag on your website's pages. After adding the script, it's now time to place the advertisements themselves. Go back to the dashboard and choose the Add Units option from the sidebar. This page lists all the advertisement options you can use, but since this page is a bit confusing, I'll show you a visual instead. The first option is Responsive Billboard. It's recommended that you place this type below the header, between sections, and above the footer. You can place a maximum of three per page, and the ad size will change depending on the page's size. The second option is the Responsive Skyscraper. It's recommended that you place this in your website's sidebar. This ad type only appears on bigger screens, like desktops and larger tablets. The third option is the responsive rectangle unit, and it can be placed almost anywhere on your site, appearing on all screen sizes as well. Personally, I recommend this size for a sidebar, or if your primary content contains squares. Lastly, the responsive leaderboard. It's recommended you place this ad type between your content, above the footer or below the header. The responsive leaderboard also appears on all screen sizes, adjusting its size to match the visitor's device. For my website, I'll be placing the responsive leaderboard right below my header and right above my footer. The first code snippet will be placed at the top of the HTML file for my homepage. Then, I'll copy the second ad snippet and place it at the bottom of the same file. When adding these code snippets, make sure you don't remove the verification script you added earlier, as the advertisements won't show if you do. I will also use the responsive billboard on my site, placing this ad type between the cards on my homepage. The first ad snippet will go between the first and second cards, the second ad snippet will go between the second and third cards and the third code snippet will go between the third and fourth cards. Remember that you can only use each code snippet once per page, so think about where you want each advertisement before you start placing the ad code on your page. Remember that you need to place these code snippets on every page of your website where you want to show an advertisement. When placing ads, it's important to note the following. You don't want to place advertisements too close together, and your advertisements should not become a cluttered mess, or visitors will leave and pick a different site to visit. Additionally, it should be fairly easy to distinguish between your website's content 
and your advertisements. Once you have added the code snippets to every file, it's time to test it. Open your website in a new tab and reload to see if the advertisements appear. If you don't see advertisements yet, that's okay. It may take a few hours before your site is ready to show ads. If you still don't see any advertisements after multiple hours, make sure the ads.txt file is uploaded to your website's root folder. Additionally, make sure that the verification script and ad code snippets are present on every page of your website that you want to show ads on. If you are still having trouble, open the Hooligan Media Dashboard and select the Support option in the sidebar. Once you confirm that advertisements are showing on your website, you can use the Earnings button in the Hooligan Media Dashboard to track how much money your website is making from advertisements. Although a little confusing to set up, especially if you have never used it before, Hooligan Media is an easy way to monetize your website with advertisements. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you enjoyed the video.